Behind me right now is the marathon match competition, which is a single problem that the competitors will work on for a period of 12 hours. I'm going to be the guy on the right, and you're going to be the guy on the left, and I'm going to explain to you why I'm going to beat you. Unlike some of the other competitions, there is no simple one right or wrong answer involved, but rather each solution is scored based upon how well it does. The first few hours, competitors will get their feet wet, get a feel for the problem, get some sort of a basic solution running. I have three bases, so I'm, uh, I'm spawning workers a little I'm more quickly and I'm getting more base. coverage across the map here. If you have looked at the scoreboard at all, or if you check it after this, you can actually see that there's two competitors who've not made a submission yet. They're following an alternate strategy of, you know, kind of don't show your hand until the very end. And you'll see some of the competitors start leapfrogging one another as each of them makes their new big breakthrough, if you will. It looks like I'm going with a worker heavy strategy on this one. Uh, I'm not expanding bases. High value nodes only. We're kind of now entering into the second phase that I would call it where people start to really increment on their solutions and really start to make some major breakthroughs and better ways to solve the problem. Then towards the last few hours of the competition, you'll reach a phase where everybody that's going to have a good solution kind of has one and they start fighting and clawing for just the last little percent or two of incremental improvements. And you start to see a lot of people really start to sweat then. Everybody has their strategy that they use and we see which one works out for them. So I'm gonna beat you because I've got an additional worker that you don't have. 